trying to get the gallbladder, but a bit of a liver as well. So the gallbladder is a little stack on the underside of the liver. Does everyone know where that is? Okay. Any any animal. If that's the one you're targeting, we we've always done is get some of that gallbladder in there. Not sure why or what, but it really seems to put a little emphasis on the one you want that way. Um, I'll do typically glycerin, I'm kind of a glycerin guy, but you can do um, angry or whatever. Uh, a bunch of the beaver trimmings, just for flushing from when doing beavers. Uh, get some fish in there, or some trout or whatever, white fish. Uh, some good cheese, like Lindenburg, or like the really stinky, smells like beef cheese. Some of that in there. And uh, uh, you could do a, so a little bit of beaver oil blend. You could do a little bit of castor separately. I, I would do have two separate mixes, one of oil blend, one of castor. And then just get that filled up to about two thirds full in the pail and bait it. And uh, don't go past two thirds, and it might blow on you, the pail, which is never fun. And then give it six years. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hang that in a tree and put a few Yep. So you can, you can, I do big buckets that all work for the season, and I have smaller containers all used for those sites. You only need like a quart. It's all you need is box for those to be active, right? Um, so you just and a properly made mix at minus 40 with a metal spoon, you should be able to kind of shave it all out and put it into a perforated container. At about minus 15 or warmer, you just scoop it right in like you're, you're just. How much did you leave it? Like you made it set set up there. How much did you leave it? About a quart. Uh, how long a timeline? Or how much mass? Yeah. How much mass? About a quart, just a container like that, perforated up in the tree, um, so it's pretty easy. Yeah, you know, some people just have a plastic by a young bucket, mm -hmm. hang it up there, and then just fill a few holes. Yeah, you can just do buckets. I mean, it's fine. It's just you usually more than you need. Yes, yeah, so you're just you, you're, you're, the, the rate at which it burns itself out is kind of the same no matter how much you have up there, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So. You might get a like another week or two of a big bucket, but it's not like that's good for three months. And you don't want to have all the woods caught in a week or two. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you put all that Sometimes. stuff together and let it <laughs> marinate for six years. Yeah, and what I recommend you do is get a bucket for this year, start a bucket for six years. Next year, same thing. Get a bucket for that year, start a bucket for six years. Okay. The first six years you do that, you're going to be dealing with year old bait, and then after that. All you're ever doing is making bucket for six for bait for six years from now, and you'll always have a fresh pail ready to go of really beautifully matured um, stuff. Well, and do not when you are making that bucket, if there's a single fly, it's ruined. It's no good. That'll just be maggots when you open it. So do it at night. Do it cool. Do it in the fall. But this cannot be tainted by flies. You don't want this getting broken down. You want it just rendering. That's it. Did you mm -hmm. just freeze it solid first until any fly eggs, <coughs> and then take it out and start? As long as they're dead, but yeah, your average freezing might not kill the egg, and when it thaws yeah. in the summer, they will yeah. have some in there. So, are you sealing this bucket? Yeah, put a lid on it. Yeah. And it doesn't pop off. Two thirds full. Uh, uh, no more yeah, than two -thirds as long full. as it's not more than two thirds full. You can rubber under the lid of the bucket, eh? And then I put a little bit of gas if you get out of there. You yep. can, we, uh, some That's people break the lid, like they crack the lid, yeah. that we can do that as well. Um, I try to have them pretty darn sealed up, yeah. but the, the, the big thing is you just want, I mean, you can do tape over a hole, so it kind of like is a one-way valve, but if, if you don't overfill them, you want to try and get that as mature as possible, because those gases are gonna help with the bubbling and the breaking down. It's going to keep rotting, but the, the key to it is it, 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 it can be accessible to the elements yeah. that are going to start breaking it down. Like, yeah. right? You want it to render and render own. The world of lure making yeah, yeah. is, I mean, we could spend an yeah, entire yeah, course yeah, yeah. on that alone, right? <laughs> and not come to an agreement at the end. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's one of those things where you just want to play with stuff, yeah. have different options out there, but really think through what it is you're offering and try to offer unique things so you've got a few cards to play. Right? Exactly. Always taste. Taste, taste, taste. But like, so for example, separating beaver caster from oil blend, right? 
you, is it good to incorporate that from beavers because it creates a homogenous smell, not a bunch of individual smells? So it's a molecule that's really sticky. It pulls everything together, and it makes it a heavy molecule that keeps it low to the forest floor. That's why we use trout, oil, things like that. Those heavy molecules keep those smells lower to the floor while they're traveling along, right? So don't get caught just going heavy molecule. Like Find different things out there that can give you that same bond. So you've got some different, uh, you know, it's like different bottles of wine out there. You want to offer some, some selection. Because what tickles the fancy of one wolf, a, a different one might not care about. You got, and you'll see, like certain ones, like sourdough, there's a whole line of sourdough lures out there. And literally, it's just got that sourdough in it, that soury dough smell that certain canines just go crazy for. They love it. So you got your court. How, how are you leaving it out there? Like with your lures? Hang it up in a tree. Hang it. it. Hang it in a tree. Make sure it's high enough up that nothing can grab it with yeah. their jaws and just take it away. Yeah. 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 yeah, very simple. And like, don't, when you are, it's, there's kind of this idea with wolves that when you get out and do your step, you got to have like 50 or 100 snares every time or all this kind of stuff. You don't need that at all. It can be like two, three traps or a half dozen. Like, you don't even need to get the whole pack every time. You just, want to have these nice, tight, refined little clusters that can pick off a few right away. And usually you've got just a few seconds with them and that's it. Like Ken said, you know, five or six wolves in a sitting, that's rare. You're, if you're heavy on wolves your whole life, you'll have a handful of those moments. That's it, right? The rest of the time it's one, two, maybe three, right? So you don't, that's all you're gonna get most of the time. Quit wasting your time with the 100 traps every site over and over and over. Just have three or four really good, clean sets that are going to give you those numbers consistently. And then make sure you switch it up. If you try different things, don't get stuck in a lane, especially with wolves. They're just they're smart. They work together. They remember, you know, and they're, they're, they're timid. They, they don't mind being like, yeah, screw it. I'm not going to bother with this. That's an okay place for them to be. Timeline for footholds is 48 hours? On registered lines. If you're resident, resident is 24. On resident, so under resident license is 24, under registered license is 48. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of us are likely going to be doing this on ranch land if you don't have an active trap line. Uh, and if you're on ranch land, it's every day, right? So. Did you like this video? If you did, I think you're gonna like this one right over here. So check it out. And I appreciate your subscribing if you haven't done so already. Remember to do that while you're watching this next video. Click like, it all helps us out for this channel. Catch you next time.